So if they hit me with a fucking murder charge for, from three years ago, oh yeah, he probably, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, dog, you know, so it's fucking, that's how they beat you. They don't beat you. This is, and this is why this shit is so fucking crazy. Like, they don't just fucking kill you. They won't let you, allow you to be a fucking martyr uh, for your cause. They make your own people turn against you. Like, I can't believe it. Everything he said was fucking, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it really, you know, when you, when you start thinking about, and you start talking about change and shit like that, you really got to think about that shit because it's like, man, these people got all this motherfucking, and don't you dare believe that you're safe because you didn't do anything. What the fuck? The fuck does that have to do with it? What a, it doesn't matter if you fucking did it or not. It, it, what the fuck matters is you're going into their fucking judicial system. They hold all the cards. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to cover the Cuba Gooden Jr. case uh, yet because... Um, Damn, I, I forgot all about that fucking story. Uh, because we haven't, I haven't determined whether or not he is um, guilty or not. They haven't released the video, but from the video I saw, it wasn't no motherfucking groping going on. Uh, but like I said, for you famous niggas, or just for any nigga who decides to just, ah, oh, fuck what that nigga talking about, and all this shit like that, all good, my nigga, all good. When you get on that fucking computer and try to find something for men's rights and something that protects, uh, uh, False rape or false sexual assault victims, allegation victims. Nigga, nigga might put a price tag on that shit, nigga. But um, this is in hindsight. Today we're talking about Lil Reese. Uh, Lil Reese um, seems to have gotten revenge. And here's the thing. Let's go ahead and talk about this shit. We ain't gonna do the whole media. Ah oh, man, media is like okay. So, cause this this is very. That's why I gotta break this shit down. All right. This is a, cause it is very um sticky. Um, fragile situation. It is. It, you really gotta know how to how to maneuver in this shit. On one hand, I told you that. And, and I think that a very good place um, for um, the feds, CIA to be at is within media companies because that way you can control the fucking narrative. This is why on my last live, I, I found it important to make sure my audience knows with me saying the type of shit that I say, you shouldn't be surprised if something comes out about me or, or if I'm just all of a sudden arrested or something happens. What you have to know is that I'm a regular fucking person. You, if they told you that they, that they had DNA evidence that I committed a fucking crime, DNA, we got video and all that shit like that, you knowing how easy it is to doctor up footage and how you can't read, you don't know how to fucking read DNA, you have to take their word for it. Knowing that they have every fucking tool possible to frame any fucking body on this planet, would you believe them? If like, you you have to feel like you know a person, but then of course, with me, you feel like, oh, that's, that's I, I thought I knew him, he just a nigga online, I don't know the fuck this nigga is. And that's what I'm saying. Who in their right mind would expose a, a, a sensitive information about the the government or the powers that be when you know that they're the ones with the power and then the people who do follow you and encompass information and shit like that you give them revelations and epiphanies only for them to say oh yeah 
He definitely did it because the fucking news told me so. Very, very sticky situation. Um, on the one hand, I, that's why I know that, um, and I also believe that TMZ is the fucking feds. They, they work too fucking closely for them not to be one thing. If you work with these fucking people, just like a fucking CI on the street, they just gave you another fucking name for a police officer. You're just an undercover police officer, just a different fucking name. Um, with that being the case, media being, um, so with that, I would rather you look at all media. Um, I don't give a fuck what the fuck you hear. You should take that shit with a grain of salt, believe none of what you hear and only half of what the fuck you see. Um, it, 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 just, just thinking about that, it just, it just brings a realization to you like, we're in a very fucking dangerous place. We're in a very dangerous place. Um, <laughs> like, with someone like Alex Jones, um, him, him being known for uh, the conspiracy theories and shit like that, of course we'll feel like something is up if he just comes up with a fucking child pornography case. But then we'll say, yeah, I can see him doing that. And I, I, it's just, and I, I wanted to bring him up because it's like, okay, if he got a charge thrown on him, we would know that, you know, the government did it. But then again, child pornography really fits him. The fuck are your people going to do? Go up there and, ah, oh, freedom, freedom. They're just going to show you the footage of him doing the shit. And you're going to believe it. They're going to tell you they have DNA. Look, do you want to see the DNA? The DNA is, con is conclusive with this person. We have fingerprints. We got his blood on the scene. You don't know what the fuck his blood looks like under the microscope. You don't know what his fingerprints look like on a piece of glass. You don't know if they could have took that shit from the, the cuff or the cuffs that, that he had. Like, I'm just, it's just crazy, man. It's scary as fuck when you think of that shit. Like, when you think of this shit, when you're the person that's spearheading something. When you're the person that's spearheading the movement that goes against what is already in motion, Man, come the fuck on, man. There's no way you can't live a paranoid fucking life. And you just have to hope and pray that you know, like that you put a that you put a, a, a good enough impression on the people that you've touched to where they just don't believe the shit just because it was said. That's my whole fucking issue with the fucking, these, these, this, the Me Too movement. Don't get me started. Don't get me started, man. But today, you know, like I said, um, with Lil Reese, and I went, what I was talking about with the media is, um, people will tell you, or uh, you'll get a consensus uh, this is how Vlad got his motherfucking uh, snitch title. But you'll get the, the people saying that um, the media, and when I say media, I mean YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? People get that mixed up a lot. The media is the uh, Channel 5, Channel 10, and the newspaper. The people you see on YouTube are YouTubers. TMZ is a actual fucking media outlet. You understand? Academics has a blog. Vlad does fucking interviews. You understand? So you need to you need to make sure that you know a distinction when we start talking about the fucking police and shit like that. If we know this story, please believe that TMZ is right now on the table. Look, and you can even believe that the, the, the Chicago police are on top of this case. On top of it, meaning we're gonna let it play out, and then pick up the the, the the shambles. You know what I'm saying? Afterwards, we can't do nothing. We go out there, hey, little Reese. I know you might be thinking about retaliation, or hey, Hicks and Skeezy. I know you might be thinking about retaliation, but hey, don't do it. We need to stop the violence. They don't give a fuck about that. Let them hit they move, or them hit they move. Then we'll come in and arrest whoever, and pick whoever up, and put them in the morgue. That's how this game is played. And so that's, that's what this whole video is about. We can get straight to the end of the video. At this point in time, 
Lil Reese posted a picture after the nigga who shot, after the nigga who beat up Lil Reese, hits and skeezy, hits and skeezy or some niggas just like any other niggas, got mad that Lil Reese was walking around with a, with a badge of honor to the world and they wanted to show that, hey, we got a badge of honor. We're not gonna show our badge of honor by getting dirty police officers arrested or, or, or off the job. We're gonna show our badge of honor by taking the respect of another black man. That's how you take honor. Because nobody gets no badge of honor nor a parade or even gets revered in the neighborhood for cleaning up the police force. Making making the streets safer from police, dirty police for the young children. That's not how you get no respect in the hood. You get respect in the hood by showing that you are for the destruction of that hood. And that's how backwards we are. And this is why no one has to step in and say anything. Because at this point, the self-cleaning oven is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Or oh, that's just how I see it. You know what I'm saying? Hitch and skeezy. Get a couple niggas to jump on uh, Lil Reese to take his take his respect. Um, because getting beat up is, is only something that whole ass niggas can do. Uh, if you a real nigga, you ain't never been jumped before. You ain't never been beat up before. You ain't never lost no fight if you a real gangster. A real gangster got guns in his forehead, in the back of his head, all over him. So he just kill everybody just like the Terminator. That's pretty great. Hey, look, man. We go live every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel. When you come in at live, do not donate to the Super Chat. The Super Chat is that little dollar sign on the side of your comment. Don't fucking donate to that. We have Cash App. We got PayPal, Streamlabs. I've even went as far as to make a Patreon page so that all of the true AO Nation members can become a patron and donate a dollar, one dollar every month. You know what I'm saying? To show love to the fucking show. But there's no reason for anybody to use that fucking super chat. They're fucking robbing me blind. Um, for all the new folks and shit like that, if you're trying to get your merchandise, whether it be the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast t-shirt or the Me and Two t-shirt or the... Big Face Podcast, Scullers. Scullers go for 10, the men's two shirts go for 20, the uh, Are You Serious and Big Face Podcast t shirts go for 15. Go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Make sure you put your address on that motherfucker, your size and the color you want and what shirt you want. Um, for all my advertisers, no matter if you got a book. Actually, for my uh, people who have products, your prices start at $100. Uh, artists, your prices start at $200, and those prices go up to $2,000. Please do not contact me about no fucking business until you're ready to make a transaction, and I'll be more than happy to get on the phone with you. Hey, this is what we do, yada, 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 and we'll go to it. But I'm not doing it. Are you paid on Friday? Dog, I'm already having a fuss at folks for sending me stories that come on. Another thing, don't send me stories to my inbox that the whole world knows about. I have the internet too, so I know the shit happened also, so you don't have to send it like, hey man, you heard about God then? Get this shit together, Beyond. So niggas jumped Lil Reese. DJ Academics gave Lil Reese the title of the Grim Reaper. Not thinking, and this, this is what I want folks to do, not thinking about the future of, of what happens uh, later on, five years down the line. Nobody wants to think five years down the line. Five years down the line, will there still be people trying to snatch that title or wanting this imaginary fucking title? Um, but it's not on DJ Academics because he's just living just like everybody else. And this is the play. It's the playground that niggas have made. Niggas love these names. You look at those people that were named during that uh, War and Chirac series that academics made, a lot of them motherfuckers is dead. And it was looked at like it was a game. 
but that was only because that's how somebody from the outside looking in looked at it. If uh, so, from a gamer's point of view, Academics was a gamer playing San Andreas, uh, Black Ops, and all these other whatever fucking games that gamers play. You look at what's going on in Chicago, like, oh, it's the same shit that happens on the game. Why not? So I don't blame that nigga for that shit. I can't blame him for that. He he he's admitted that he's not from that. He just that's what his mind saw. Why the fuck would I blame a motherfucker that's watching this shit and not blame the motherfucker that's doing it? That makes no fucking sense. So the recent get jumped. You know, of course, they can't leave it at a nigga getting jumped. And of course, he got a shit on himself and all this other shit. So the nigga that uh, jumped him, because they all in the same place. They know each other. The nigga that jumped him, now he comes up shot. For some reason, whatever the nigga name is that jumped. Look, and the reason why we don't know the nigga name who jumped Lil Reese is because he don't rap. Understand, hits and skis it, they want to do something within this entertainment industry. I've told y'all this before, the only people who really fuck with rappers and try to fuck them over and actually will show their face and shit is other rappers or other people who want to be in the entertainment industry. Uh, and we know hits and skis it from the Lil Reese situation. Just like we know boot game for you know doing pranks and shit like that motherfuckers don't give a fuck what you look at them for as long as you'll look at them and that's what we have and i just wish that we can take rap back to when the only reason i'm gonna look at you in this rap game is or as a rapper because i got a feeling that hits and skeezy are gonna be pursuing some type of rap career here in the near future but for the average everyday people, they don't want any credit for them committing crimes because it's a fucking crime. So the nigga who doesn't have a name, he gets shot. Uh, I guess his, his folks took a picture of him, got shot in his legs, he got hospital socks on. Uh, they took a picture of him and I guess the nigga with no name or maybe his people Uploaded the picture to social media. Not sure why the fuck that was a good idea. Lil Reese take the picture, post it on his shit, and say, and pretty much take claim to the crime. Now here we go with the police shit. Every you know everything that you every YouTuber is picking it up, connecting the dots. And then people who look at these YouTubers say, that's police ass shit, man. You goddamn making it easy for the police. That's a police ass shit. You making it easy for the police. The unknown motherfucker is it not, he ain't making it easy for the police by posting a picture. Eat better yet. Hicks and Skeezy wasn't making it easy for the police when they got the nameless nigga in them to jump on Lil Reese. I'm, I'm telling you that the police probably knew that someone out of that group was going to get shot the day that that video came out of Lil Reese getting jumped. That wouldn't be a hard connection from a nigga down here in Alabama to make. And nobody can stop it. All right. So, we got a problem here. The problem why us thinking that people that aren't the police are the police is because now we can't look at the people that are the police as the fucking police. Down in Memphis, niggas just, you know, just went crazy. Uh, you know, handcuffed man just got shot 15 times by the police, niggas riding out there. Um, we keep getting signs of war. 
around the world. So so they're they're treating us all as if we're one people, black people. Yet we won't unite as one people. You have a individual incident here, you have a uh, uh, an unconnected incident here. Instead of us all saying, as I've been proposing, a 30-day crime fast. Not to say that the people that are getting uh, put in cuffs and shit like that are criminals. It's to say, let's unite and say, dog, we're at war right now. It's a war right now. It's a war. And they're, they're only going at people with, you know, criminal records or, or like with this person right here. Uh, we're going to serve a warrant. So right there, off the off the title, because the title ain't sixteen year old um, sixteen year old uh, child um, uh, Alabama University hopeful, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, uh, you know, because if it was a white boy, that's how the fuck they'll name that shit. But for us, we going to serve a warrant before you even know how old a motherfucker he is. Anything about boy, girl, you don't know what the fuck going on. But what you do know is it's a criminal. Don't worry about it. We have so much hatred towards each other. We're looking this way, actually. We're looking this way. Black man, black woman, there's all black people on this side. Then you have racist police officers on that side. Not all police officers, but the racist police officers who just want to kill people. Uh, you got uh, people that are coming home from the military that didn't get to take their shot. Or people who did get to take their shot, and now they just, now that there's no violence over there, they they need it. <sighs> and you have, but understand, officers, for those of you who know you have those type of people on the force, you're on that side also. Because if you'll sit and watch and not do nothing, you're just as bad. Bad officers over there, racist officers over there, black people over here. Instead of us focusing up and looking at our enemy, the fuck you want, nigga? What's happening, nigga? I'm saying, what it is? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck you got going on, nigga? And that, and it just keep on, it just keep on rocking like that. Instead of us saying, you know what, dog, uh, we don't got time to continue weakening our fellow warriors. We're at war. Me giving you this right here that's in my pocket is making you less of a warrior. I'm sure that it used to be a time where we would pick each other up and want each other to be strong in, uh, in jail. Uh, I think it's the Northanios and the Aryan Brotherhood. Um, you have to work out every day. You got to go outside every day and you got to work out. They want you to be strong. Um, I think they got a policy on dope. Um, it's all kind of laws because if some pop off, you the one who's with me. We ride together type shit. And it's just, we just... We just out this bitch, just. So when you hear this story and then you hear this retarded ass shit by, oh, that's the police ass shit, bro. The motherfucking police, man. You ain't even fuck police, dog. Man, you tell the police, dog. As if, <laughs> I, I just, you know what I'm saying? By the time a YouTuber can make any type of correlation online, Dog, these motherfuckers has already got a car outside the house ready for whatever. The only question is, is who's gonna kill a nigga? A police officer or another nigga? It's the only question.
I mean, it just, I mean, so it, it's just more the same, you know what I'm saying? It, and it's, with this, with this rap trap, see, it, it's just like, you know what I mean? There's nothing that Lil Reese can do. Um, <clears throat> you were thrown into this game as a, as a bully, as a, as a brolic nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like this, so because of what people expect from you, you can't do anything else but throw your life away. So when something happens to a person, and that's and that goes more into me telling y'all about these fake accounts on your social media and on YouTube. Uh, the fake accounts aren't just accounts. Um, I believe these are agents who will tell you. And you come on, Reeve, I know you're gonna let that go down like that. Damn. And they know that we're so fucking simple. And they can make you, they can, they can control you like a remote, can, like they can just, they don't even gotta be there. It's, just, it's, it's retarded, dog. It's retarded. Also, with my, um, my, my, my other resolution to this, um, police brutality shit is. A 30-day crime fast to start with and boycotting a supermarket, a, a, a big company. Dollar General, Publix, Walmart, whatever the fuck it is, no black person will shop at this store until we get some, some type of aid from these people. We shop with y'all every day. If one of us dies, that's one more shopper that you don't have. Or do you not... Regard us as valuable customers. Us getting killed in the street should bother you. If it doesn't bother you, we're stepping away. I really feel like if we did that, at least nationwide is on your side, then something would happen. At least, at the very least, it would show our fucking unity. But that the issue is, we don't see a nigga getting shot 15 times, a child getting shot 20 times by the police in Texas as an issue in Alabama. We don't see a a, 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 a lady being uh, choked to death in Ohio as an issue in Mississippi. We see that as something, uh, you know, just all the way over there, but then as soon as something happens to our community, we want the whole world to take notice. And then we have this type of shit on top of this shit, man. That just makes us just, I, it just, not, when, when I, I, so when I'm saying we have shit like this, so we got niggas killing niggas and shit like that, it makes us look like animals. I'm not saying to the fucking white people. I'm saying to us, to us, to other black people. So then we see a nigga getting killed. Yeah, that nigga probably trying to kill somebody, yeah. Yeah, that's what niggas do. Because you don't see yourself as a, you know what I'm saying? You don't think that you're the one that the police gonna kill. Nobody did. Nobody did. Nobody thought that they would be killed by the fucking police. But it happened. And then it's, and then it's on the families. It's on the families to then um, try to, you know, figure this shit out of, of how do we pay for the funeral for one. That's the first thing. We wasn't prepared for this. But then how do we get the world to see what just happened down here? You know, uh, it's a blessing that we even have people, shout out to the Savory Show, the, the, Say, Bo the Say Boy Show, uh, uh, you know, for, for letting us see this type of shit. Um, and he's doing, I feel like he's doing his part because we see, you know, the injustices and, and he brings them stories to us, but then it's on us to either Oh shit, that's fucked up. And keep scrolling, or say, dog, let's do something. And, and, and I mean, if it ain't nothing but our immediate circle, let's get some people ready for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's do something. But I would I, honestly, what I would like um, uh, it is for us to, because I feel like it really starts with this. I feel I, I really do feel like it starts with sobriety. In a lot of cases, I feel like. If, if we could, 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If, I, I, I feel like a boycott will be easier than a crime fast because a motherfucker that's living, you know, the life of crime, whatever like that, that's how they live. Um, and a store. So it, it's just, it's just a fucked up situation. It's not, it's not a impossible situation, but it's just throw the fuck off. And this shit right here plays into it. This isn't just rap music. This is real. Like, if it was just rap music, no one would go to jail and no one would die from this shit. The rap trap show is for motherfuckers that die and go to fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't, I, I, don't, I don't have enough time to do all these fucking episodes. It's too many of them. So, you know, y'all let me know what the fuck, man, because like I said, it just, I don't know.